Welcome back everyone. This morning I woke up and bricked my rank 12 master working gear and I've never been happier. By bricking all this gear, I'll be able to use some of the returned materials and use it on another setup. I was playing a windshear build and had pushed higher in the pit than ever before or with any other build, but it wasn't fun and I didn't feel engaged or even invested in the character, so things needed to change. No, I'm not quitting the game, I'm just quitting this build and I'm done with it, I will not be returning to it. So I did go ahead and use the materials that were gained from salvaging that rank 12 gear and I wanted to make sure that it was of course armor capped and resist capped. On top of that, I was able to get 45,000 life. That's about 25,000 life less than I had in the previous build, but I just can't take it anymore. I cannot play the Windshear build any longer. It's just not engaging and I may quit the game if I continue to use it. So let's go ahead and jump into a tier 71. This is not the highest that this build or the Windshear build can clear. This is just a comfortable farming spot, but I just want to talk this through. Winter build is not engaging. That's a huge issue this season because a lot of the content that you're playing is fairly trivial. Within the pit, it's actually more efficient to farm lower tiers that you can farm faster. That way you get more materials. And that really becomes a turnoff after a large period of time. When you're farming through and increasing all these ranks, doing content that is kind of mindless is not fun. And Winter is just a build that essentially has you standing there as a turret, which again is not engaging. So it was kind of compounding on itself and I was just not enjoying it. And I had basically taken too much. I couldn't finish off the remainder of the pieces and I was like, I just need to switch back, find something more engaging. So I've gone back to Tornado, which I really enjoyed. And I'm hoping that I can probably clear this in roughly five minutes. Windshear was doing this in about three and a half to four minutes. So of course that will be a little bit slower, but if I'm having more fun, then ultimately it's a step in the right direction. But I'd love to hear feedback of whether you're enjoying the season. Are you playing a build that may not be your favorite and you're just using it as a means to an end like I was doing? Or are you happy with what you're playing and enjoying it regardless? There's also other factors to keep in mind when you're grinding out seasonal rep in something like Helltide. Even this content becomes pretty unenjoyable because it just gets too easy after your character is scaled to a certain degree. But I did find Helltide rather fun to level up and I did so until about level 55 this season. So this build, aside from having less health, it actually has less damage reduction as well. So that of course is a factor. I think that's going to be even more noticeable once I get to the final boss. And hopefully there isn't any bosses that I can't handle with this build. But I think I'm on a low enough tier that even if something does go wrong, I should be able to get back in and kill the boss. I think the boss kill speed will be relatively quick with the tornadoes. I've seen a lot of improvements in my gear, even though I was playing a different build. I was, of course, holding on to the items that were upgrades. And if you are looking for information on that build, I'll leave a link in the video description. I have changed a couple of things. Primarily, I'm no longer using the new unique pair of boots. I am now running Aspect of Metamorphosis, and that is just to give us additional unstoppable. With that change, of course, we've taken Earthen Bulwark off of the bar, and we're now able to run three companions just for the buffs that they provide to our damage. And we also have Maul. So you see that I'm mauling a fair amount. Don't so much care about the damage Maul has. However, it does activate other buffs in the build. All this is talked about in the previous version. So you can check that video out if you'd like to get more information on the actual build. So right now our time is doing pretty well. I would say at this point, I'd typically would be spawning the Guardian on Windshear in maybe another 30 seconds, usually with about 12 minutes remaining, I'd be getting to the Guardian, and then that would take me 30, 40 seconds or so. However, we look to be a little bit behind that. This mob type is somewhat decent for a Tornado, and especially this map I like because I can funnel things into the doorway. The only thing I have to be careful is just not to blow myself up with a Tornado, but in general, these mobs like to stick together, and that, of course, is beneficial for Tornado. Windshear is similar in a way but different where you're trying to line everything up with each other I'm just going to break that even though i wasn't in any danger i have plenty of evade charges when you're trying to get everything in a line tornado you're trying to get everything clumped so there's similar concepts there you're just trying to maximize your damage output to get rid of the trash sooner and it looks like we should from this pack or just shortly after get into the boss and we'll see what we get and I think really a big part for me with the Windshear build was that on all the bosses, you just stand there shooting, you can tank all the hits. Essentially, the effects coming your way do not matter at all. You can just stand there and take everything head on, face tank it, so to speak, and it will be all okay as long as you're not pushing too high in the tiers. But at tier 75 with a reasonably geared Windshear build, you can just face tank it, but be prepared to be very bored. So I'm hoping this boss fight will be a little more active. I saw that was Bramble, which is why I evaded to the side. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get into the bear form here now that I've kind of got opening damage up. And now I'm going to swap and just kind of lay some tornadoes as long as I can. Eventually when I have to move there, I will swap back into bear, just trying to keep these buffs active. 
So overall, the speed not too bad. Of course, I do need to back out now. We'll have a large DPS uptime in a second here once I get out of that AOE. And when he's spitting there, which is what I was expecting to occur, you can basically just nuke those tornadoes. So overall, boss kill speed was somewhat similar if I had to guess, but the run itself is actually slower. But I, myself, have never been happier to change builds or even vendor off some gear that I spent a lot of time building up. It did have a means and a purpose, as mentioned, so you may consider doing something like that yourself. Do you want to use a build in order to progress further, get some more materials, and then improve the gear that you plan on using later on? I actually do recommend that because in this situation, it's helped me a lot. It's helped me enjoy the game more. So I hope this is beneficial and feel free to leave any comments or questions, even if you have them. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.